Hey guys, good morning. Uh, well, it's morning here. Um, it's uh, We're on track to be around 70 degrees today, temperature-wise. Um, it's about 60 right now at about 8.30 in the morning. So, <laughs> what, a, uh, what a change for February. So the warmer weather, um, I'm a little more inclined to do some work uh, as far as working on some of the equipment um, instead of just talking and uh, uh, trying to keep warm outside uh, today. We got some parts. I got some parts. I put in a parts order um, to one of my favorite go-to uh, aftermarket parts companies, uh, All States Ag Parts. And here in this box, you can see it's A and I. So yeah, they're another um, aftermarket uh, parts company. It's made in England, and this is a front headlight assembly for the uh, 685 here. Um, when I bought the tractor, this light was out. It was burned out. I ordered one of these from Allstate Tag Parts and put it in, and it worked good, works good. Um, in the meantime, the other one burned out. Um, <laughs> so I had to order another one. Um, we're gonna replace that today, and it's a perfect time to uh, do this video because I have to replace the light bulb on this 395 that doesn't work. So. I'm gonna make a, a video here to show you how to change the front headlights in an 85 series Case International and a 95 series Case International. So a little bit of uh, background here. These are sealed beams. And now this from Allstate's Ag Parts was 30 bucks. So $30 for a sealed beam light. Uh, they're not hard to install, um, which sounds expensive when you compare it to a 95 series, which has replaceable light bulbs in the back. You can get a light bulb with both high and low beam for this tractor. Um, I bought it from Allstate, Sag Parts. It was $5. So you'd think it'd be cheaper to replace the light bulbs on the 95 series versus the 85 series. The only trouble is if you need a headlight assembly, if this plastic is cracked or damaged in any way, um, this, this headlight assembly is over $100 just for the, the plastic. Uh, and I think that's each side. I don't know if that's a pair. Um, so well, you can replace the lighting with a $5 light bulb. Um, it sounds nice, but if one of those lenses get broken, um, it's a lot cheaper <laughs> to put in a $30 sealed beam. So it's a little bit of a trade off here. So uh, let's get into it. I'll show you how to replace the, the full light assembly on a 685 or an 85 series and we'll get into the uh, 95 series then so let's get to it okay so your first step is going to be to come over to the side here on the side that you want to replace the light assembly on get yourself a screwdriver or pry bar and being careful not to damage the hood because this is fiberglass both this panel and this panel are fiberglass the hood is steel but the front is fiberglass and these side plates are fiberglass so just give it a pry and it basically slides right off, right out of your way. So that'll be step one, you'll get that out of your way and then, then that will give you access in there to the light assembly. Um, now, the way these work, I'm not gonna totally take the hood off here so you might not be able to see how these are mounted in. Um, if I was a more professional mechanic fix it channel, I take the uh, time to take the hood off and show you who <laughs> yeah, I have my fingers in front of the lens too. Um, like I say, if I was more professional and had more time, I'd take the hood off and show you how this is mounted in here. Basically, I'll just give you the rundown. These here are mounted into a square frame and that square frame uh, fits around the uh, flange on the light and it's spring loaded. There's two screws on either side with springs and it holds pressure forward. So you have a square frame on the back side of the light that push it into where it has to go. So to get it out, it's real simple. You just basically pull back on that frame. Um, there are tabs here. I don't know how well they'll show up. There's a tab there and a tab there. And uh, depending on how you do it, sometimes you can pry them up a little bit to give yourself some room. Uh, I think I did on this one. You can pry those up out of your way and then the light will come right out of that square frame or uh, rectangular frame and then you unplug your wiring harness. It couldn't be simpler. 
on a uh, 85 series. So let's get the old one out. Okay guys, I figured I'd take the whole assembly out here to show you guys what this is going to look like. Um, this is the frame I was talking about. You can see it goes all the way around the light assembly, the sealed beam. I misspoke. It's not spring-loaded bolts that hold these in. Uh, you see that little hole right there. Uh, there are actually two springs that just uh, pull this light assembly forward in the uh, in the socket there. It pulls it forward. Uh, these little set screws here on either side of it are to aim the lights. Uh, you can actually adjust these and aim them uh, so they're pointing the right direction. Um, so I figured I'd just pull the whole thing out and show you guys now. Um, one thing that probably uh, is deteriorated on a lot of these tractors, mine isn't too terrible. There is a foam that goes in here um, that's kind of the spacer between the uh, light assembly and the front of the grill. So mine's still in half decent shape, it's tore, but it's still there. So we're gonna just reuse that piece. Um, so that's kind of how you uh, go about uh, aiming your headlights and how these are in there. You can see there's three prongs on the back for your uh, wiring harness. Um, and there also is a rubber gasket on either side. I'll take this apart and show you this rubber gasket then uh, when I get it apart here. All right, so you want to start by taking a needle nose pliers, that's what I used, and pry these two tabs, these two metal tabs on either side. I'll point to it so you can see on either side, right there, fold them up, and you can actually take the whole headlight assembly right out of this bracket. So now what we have here is the metal bracket, and there are these rubber um, gaskets here on the back side, like a rubber, uh, it's probably for vibration, like a vibration dampening uh, type of deal. Um, so once you got the old one out, then we can install the new one. And if I can do it one-handed, should have brought my tripod, but we'll give it a try. Now one thing I did notice with these, it was a little bit, uh, a little bit tougher to get them in the housing here um, than the old one was because the back side is a little bit different. Let me set these side by side so you can give you a visual here. All right, on the old sealed beam, you can see there's these glass uh, places where the glass is uh, raised on the back side that it's flat. And on the um, A and I version, they're metal. So then they put a cap over the back to protect your wiring harness. So we'll get that off. But uh, first, let's get this installed. Um, there is a top on the A and I one. There is an arrow. Right there, you can see the arrow. So that'll be the top. So we'll want to mount it right like that. So let me get this in here, and uh, I'll kind of show you what it looks like. All right, so we've got the new one in. Uh, once you set it in, uh, just bend your tabs back over on either side. Um, you'll see I removed the plug on the back side for the uh, wiring harness. So we're ready to stick this back in the tractor. Um, let's go back over here. <coughs> Excuse me. So your best place to start, I found, is to put your foam gasket in and then slip your uh, headlight assembly in from behind and uh, get it pretty well lined up and then it's a matter of uh, it's best to hook on this spring on this side first um, just because there's less room to get your hands in there and then tip it this way and then you can get in with your other hand to pull that spring the springs are small but they're pretty tough I mean they'll hold pressure they'll keep this light forward where it needs to go so let's get it in all right, so now we have a pair of uh, matching front headlights. Like I say, they are A and I from uh, Allstate's Ag Parts. They're gonna run you about $30 a piece. Uh, not too bad to install. The only difference I noticed from OEM was your third wire instead of being on the bottom. On these, when it's the arrow's the right way and you have it up, it's on the top. So you'll just have to flip your wiring harness a little bit to plug it in. Uh, it's not a big deal. You should have enough of length of wire. So. We got the headlights in. Um, let me uh, test them out now and see how it is before I put the side panel on, make sure it works, and we'll go from there. All right, so we got the battery in, we got it tied down, we have it hooked up. Um, in the uh, interest of this video, just wanna let you guys know I did not try this light yet. This will be uh, 
real time as far as uh, if it works. If it doesn't work, then it'll be all over the internet. <laughs> so we'll see how the quality is here. Now on the 685, you have a toggle switch here uh, for high and low beam. So we will get our lights on here and we'll flip the switch and see what we have here. All right, so I'm guessing that's low beam. And we'll flip the switch. And there you have it. Uh, not too bad to install. Uh, like I say, I get my aftermarket parts from Allstate's uh, Ag Parts. Uh, the website is uh, Tractor Parts ASAP, if I remember correctly. But if you're a, a smartphone user, they have an app. And to have an app to look up parts, it's awesome. Uh, that's something not, they, they don't all have an app. <laughs> so when they give you an app to be able to look up parts, it's real easy to navigate through their app and uh, makes it real nice for ordering parts. Uh, it is $12.95 shipping, whether you order one item or a bunch. That's why I usually wait until I have a pretty big order. And you know, for uh, ordering uh, 10, 11, 12 things at one time, uh, Twelve ninety five shipping is probably costing them on their end, but um, it's better to order in quantity. But uh, there it is, a headlight install. Um, I will have to get into the three uh, three ninety five, the ninety five series in another video, just because I don't have the light bulb yet. When the light bulb gets here, we can do a video on it. This came yesterday, so I got that in and. Uh, for you guys that watch my videos all the way to the end, you're my uh, diehard fans, we are going to start this tractor. We'll do a start here on it. Um, this has not run since about November, so um, now that the battery's in it, it's a good time to fire it up and let it run, see, uh, <laughs> see how it works. So we'll get into that next. All right, so we got our side cover on, uh, headlights in, batteries in hooked up, got the battery door back on. Let's give this a try. Now, it's been since uh, November when I lined these tractors up and I had the uh, batteries in the warm for the winter time. Uh, now, it is warm today, I'll give it that. Uh, it's pretty warm, so let's just see how it does here. It's been sitting for, what is it, three, four months. And hopefully we don't have any problems. Well, that'll work. Good little tractors. Let it run a little bit here. Not much smoke. The hydraulic oil, is, there it is, the steering. And I felt the three-point hitch go up. Uh, brakes. So that's pretty darn good for sitting. So, but it is warm today. These tractors will start pretty good in the warm. So uh, that's where I'll end the video, guys. Uh, stay tuned for the 95 series uh, headlight replacement. I'm gonna let this run, let the battery charge, get some fuel flowing through everything. Recheck the oil. I did check it before I started it. So, thanks for watching.